In this video, I'm gonna discuss start to finish what I think it takes to make a successful photo shoot for my bag company. We're gonna discuss planning, locations, cameras, lighting, and of course, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes on the actual photo shoot to show you how it all goes down. This shoot is for my bag company, Long Weekend, which my girlfriend and I started a couple years ago. And we've been making products that are inspired by our road trips and our love for photography and just getting out and seeing new places. We recently released a backpack and a 35 millimeter reusable camera, and we wanted to create some lifestyle campaign photos. So let's start with arguably one of the biggest parts of a photo shoot and one of the most overlooked aspects, which is planning. I knew I wanted to create a campaign and a shoot that felt like a moment at the side of the road on a long road trip. That kind of nice moment when you pull off and you see something incredibly scenic and beautiful and you decide to hop out and take a couple photos. First, I needed a cool car because this had to feel like a road trip. And thankfully, I have friends who have plenty of cool cars. So I hit up my friend Danny, who is a potter here in Los Angeles, and asked if I could borrow his Tacoma. This truck would be perfect because it had nice like outdoor styling, mud tires on it and it's really an adventurous looking car. Now let's talk about location because this is incredibly important in a photo shoot. And I decided that Angela's Crest would be a great fit for this shoot. And it was a nice balance of really good road trip mountain scenery. And it also wasn't too far from downtown LA, which means that like all seven people who are coming up to be a part of this photo shoot wouldn't have to drive two, three hours out of the way just to be there. The models are also, of course, an incredibly important part of any photo shoot. And for this shoot, I called in a favor from Christian and Haley, who are two incredible dancers. They were absolutely fantastic in the shoot. And something that I think made a huge difference is the fact that they are a couple. So their chemistry on camera was incredibly natural and they just made the photo shoot effortless, as you'll see in the behind the scenes in a minute. Let's talk about gear as well quickly, because this is quite important. I decided to bring my Mamiya RZ67 as the main camera for this photo shoot. I like the fact that I can see directly through the lens so I can see where my focus is. I can see the depth of field. And it's also a great camera to use with strobes because it syncs to flash at all shutter speeds. Speaking of lighting, I brought along my newer Vision 4, which is like the cheapest battery powered strobe that you can buy on Amazon. The battery lasts all day for the pace that I shoot at. It has amazing light output, really bright. You can counterbalance the sun with it even midday. And for diffusion, I brought an Aperture Softbox. Although these things are huge and kind of annoying to set up, they make a huge difference to the quality and the smoothness of the light output. It makes the shadow highlight transition just really soft and nice to look at. And I'm using it for this shot right now as well. It just creates a more pleasant look to the light. With that being said, let's get on to the actual photo shoot and I can show you some more behind the scenes footage of how it all went down.
Can we flip you guys? Yeah. Oh my God, that is so sick. More on this side. Yeah, yeah, perfect. So sick. Three, two, one. Nice. Perfect. Three, two, one. Nice. That's awesome. Um, can you try sitting in this seat? Just have your hand on the headrest, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Two, one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great one. Let me frame it more like I actually framed. Yeah, yeah, hold that camera out. So sick, three, two, one. Nice, man. Oh, don't move. Three, two, one. Nice, your ring is like perfectly reflecting the light. Yeah, it was great. A uh, little bit in between, yep. Amazing. And lean forward a little more. Yeah, thank you so much. One. Nice. So good. Thanks, guys. You can just hang out. That's it. Three. Could you take a step forward, Christian? Up the field to get them three, two, perfect. Thank you, guys. <laughs> we got to do this quick for the. More of like your, um, God, what is this called? Forearm? Yeah, forearm. Yeah, perfect. Three, two, nice. That was a great pose. <laughs> I'm just chilling, y'all. Let me live. Let me fucking live, y'all. Yeah, that's how you chill? <laughs> Arch your back a little more. <laughs> Love it. Three, two, one. Nice. See that again? kind of step into it too like take a step back yeah perfect oh my god three two one this might be one of the best ones yet so good three two one nice you guys now photo shoot like this is incredibly difficult to pull off by yourself. I was incredibly happy with how the photos came out and it was largely thanks to everybody who was here 
helping out on the photo shoot. Christian, Haley, Allison, Jake, Linus, and of course, Marty. Big thank you to everybody who worked on this project. The photos came out fantastic, I think. I want to give a huge thank you to you guys for watching and finally a massive thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an incredible all-in-one website building platform that you can use to build your photography portfolio online. I've been using Squarespace for so many years now and they made it so easy to get a website up and running with my photography. If that sounds like something you're interested in, you can hit the link in my description for a 14-day free trial of Squarespace. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Willem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.